Hi, I'm Paul Jarzembowski, and the bishops of the United States have invited me to help lead delegations from across our country to World Youth Day. Welcome to the World Youth Day experience. We've got some exciting things to share with you on this, your pilgrim journey. From where shall help come to me? My help comes from the Lord, my God. For he is merciful. When we are lost, he searches for us. Let me tell you about one of my favorite images for World Youth Day. I like the scriptural image of the Transfiguration. You know the story. It's when the disciples, Peter, James, and John, join Jesus and walk up a high mountain and see him transfigured before their eyes. And then, before they know it, it's over and they continue the journey down. I like that image. And in particular, I like there's a, I like a particular Greek icon that represents this. It's an ancient icon, and it shows three points along the journey. The first stage is the preparation, is the journey up to the mountain. The second stage is the mountaintop itself, the summit experience. And the third stage is the journey back down. Now, what I like about this is that this image shows that all three places on the journey are sacred. Oftentimes when we see the transfiguration represented in art, we see just the mountaintop experience. And the same thing happens at World Youth Day. Most people will focus on what happens at the World Youth Day experience, whether it's stateside or internationally. It's that one mountaintop moment that everyone focuses their attention on. But, as you know so well, the preparation for the trip is so much a part of the World Youth Day experience. Likewise, the same thing is going to happen on the way down. You see, we might get tempted like Simon Peter, when at the top of the mountain, Peter said, Lord, it is good that we are here. Let's stay here for a very long time. He wanted to build three tents so they could stay there. And at the end of World Youth Day, you might be tempted to say the same thing too. You might be tempted to want to stay and experience that aha moment over and over again. But Jesus looks at Peter and Jesus looks at us. If we want to stay a little longer, Jesus smiles and says, we have to go down the mountain, into the valleys. Because that's where it happens. Think about it. What After the transfiguration, Jesus and the disciples went to Jerusalem. He experienced his passion, death, and resurrection after the transfiguration. Peter, James, and John really got, became transformed by their, their encounter with the risen Christ and the development of the early church. They became saints after the transfiguration. In fact, the transfiguration was really the beginning of a longer, more exciting journey yet to come so will it be with us. After World Youth Day, the best things are yet to come. You get a glimpse of that experience at World Youth Day. We get a glimpse, an aha moment. 
but that is just the beginning of the next great adventure. Because after World Youth Day, the greatest things for you and me are yet to come. I invite you, as you are preparing, to consider the image of the Transfiguration and consider all three moments of that story. We have put together a six-part video series that should help you in your preparation, that should help you on your mountaintop experience, and that should help you think ahead to what lies beyond the mountaintop. What lies beyond that mountaintop experience is a journey that will help us as pilgrims on a road that ultimately leads to the kingdom of God as missionaries of mercy to transform the world. On behalf of his brother bishops, the shepherd of the Diocese of Bridgeport, Bishop Caggiano, begins our video series by expressing the bishop's desire to journey with us as a World Youth Day pilgrim. But more importantly, Bishop Caggiano expresses his and the other bishops' desire to witness the return of our World Youth Day mountaintop experience, whether in Krakow or a stateside celebration. He wants us to prepare and be ready, both physically and spiritually, so that no matter where your experience occurs afterwards, it will be one worth pointing towards and sharing with others. So I wish you luck on that. Don't forget to prepare. Don't forget about all of the things that we've shared with you today. And God bless you on your pilgrimage. I lift my eyes to the mountains From where shall help come to me My help comes from the Lord my God For He is merciful Yeah.